Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome back to another episode of Talking About the Seven Deadly Sins. Last time we talked about lust. Today we're actually going to be talking about the deadly sin of gluttony. Um, in other words, a few other terms for this would be ex excess, arrogance, debauchery, immoderation, or looseness. Um, now, I need to correct something. When I... And when Pink Fox and I first introduced the series, I personally said that gluttony was a lot like greed. But there is one ginormous difference. And that is that greed is more... Um, you're completely aware and you can completely balance it, but you're intentionally going at it, where gluttony actually gives a large disregard to self-restraint. Um... And it's more focused most of the time around food. Now, is this all the time? Absolutely not. Most of the time, yes. Now, gluttony... It's one of those more interesting seven of the seven deadly sins to me because it very particularly aims towards an extremely specific group of people. Now, if you guys watch the gaming portion of this channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. A good example of gluttony comes from the game Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. One of the characters has a very hard time keeping themselves from eating too much. Like, every time they finish something, they want more. They keep saying that. Um, this is a perfect example of gluttony. Now... <sighs> There are, the out, outside of food, there are, as I listed before, other meanings to this term. I'll pull one of the more um, reliable ones in my mind. Arrogance. Gluttony is, it can be very pinpointed, but it also can be widespread. Because of stuff like that, um... When someone gets very arrogant, very specific on how they want to go about things, but in like a negative way, they suffer from this sin to a very light degree, but it can also that arrogance can also become a very big problem. Now, a lot of people have heard the term your persistence will be the death of you. Replace persistence with arrogance because it's about the same thing in that case. Well, there's a reason gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins, and that would be it. Now, when it comes to the food aspect of it, I mean, come on, you eat too much, and you might as well just say your body will explode. <laughs> so there's that aspect. But that's kind of just a humorous way of going about it. Um... Gluttony, I would say, is one of the more lighter ends of all seven of the Deadly Sins. It's not as bad as some of the others, not even remotely close. In fact, I'm pretty sure of all seven, it's probably the the one that you have the least to worry about. Because it's the easiest to get out of. Um, if you get stuck in it, it's not that hard to just... You know, worm your way around, I guess, is a way to word it. But this deadly sin can still become a very big problem. Moving on to a different term in regards to it, how about looseness? It, doesn't, it seems like a very gentle thing, right? If you're very lenient, it doesn't seem that bad. But take it from someone who knows, it can become a very big problem and could be the death of someone. Um, I'm going to use personal life. Uh, since I've already talked about it on this channel before, I'm going to use a personal life experience uh, that kind of gives a good example of this. Back in the at the beginning of the year 2020, right before 
the virus that everybody hates so much um, started, I had a few relationship problems. Um, this was long before Pink Fox came into the picture, but regardless, I had some issues with an individual who was basically just playing me. The problem was, I kind of saw it from, like, miles away, and I subsided it. I was being trying to be very lenient about the situation going on. I learned certain things, and I tried to bypass it, but that only led to my demise. It only led to me being very down, very depressed, and it did not bode well for me at all. I guess, in a manner of speaking... That's another version of gluttony, and it. I suffered from that. I kind of blinded myself to certain things, and that kind of led to. Well, that led to the death of that part of me, at least. Let's put it that way. The way I look, sometimes personally, when I look at the seven deadly sins, when it says it can be the death of you, when it's a deadly sin. I don't think it's always literal. In the case of gluttony, I don't think it ever is literal. Unless you're talking about self-restraint on the course of certain very detailed aspects, like what a lot of people think of it, food. Um, in the case of looseness, like what I just described, I, I will admit, back then with leniency. I didn't have very much self-restraint for how much I should be doing that. It was just kind of an instant do it. It did not end well for me. But that's another way of looking at arrogance as well. Which is something I can definitely concur that I had back at the beginning of the year 2020. Um, now that is bypassed at this point. Long gone. Nothing to worry about. But Regardless, it was still a problem. And I kind of can understand where why this would be considered a deadly sin because I've gone through it. That being said, I don't know. I figured at the end of this particular dis uh, discussion of this particular uh, deadly sin, I might as well give a good example from my own personal experience on why it would be considered this. What do you guys think, though? You guys agree with what I've said in this video? Um, did you guys learn anything this time around? I'm very curious. Not everybody knows about these, and when uh, when asked to be listed, someone has actually mentioned this before. Not going to be named, um, but has said that when presented with what are the seven deadly sins, not everybody knows about them. So, with gluttony being um, described and shown to you, did you guys learn anything? Or did you guys have interest in what was said? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Or let us know, I should say. I keep forgetting to say that since this is not just my channel anymore. Um, but let us know in the comments below if you have anything to add, if you learned anything, if you had interest in what was said, or if you're looking forward to the upcoming other five deadly sins. Um, if so, which one are you guys looking forward to seeing? Now, if you want to check out any of the ones that have already been discussed, click the link on the side of my head where you'll find the playlist for the series. So far, we've only talked about lust and gluttony, but if you have any interest in checking out the others once they come out, or if you have interest in checking out lust and you missed it, yeah, go ahead and click the link on the side of my head. The other side will hold any video that might interest you on this channel according to YouTube's algorithm. Um, not quite what you're looking for. Why not check out the channel yourself if you have not yet? In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this episode of Talking About the Seven Deadly Sins, guys. And we hope to catch you guys in another video. See you guys later.